and we start our adventure at the gasoline station we had no fuel I, rem I didn't remember to refill and uh, we just put 15 euro hope it's gonna be enough uh, to reach the highway you curious where we are going come with us Quick stop uh, at Sarni for a great breakfast. We are ready to leave. <laughs> we have uh, three hours in front of us, uh, full highway. We are gonna enjoy it, it's a bit windy, but the place where we are going is uh, incredible. Let's go. We are 33 kilometers away. The landscape completely changed. We are in Marke and uh, uh let me see at what time we should be arriving in 38 minutes so around 12 40. pretty sure the next 40 minutes are gonna be way funnier than the highway so let's uh, enjoy by the way two euro the gasoline freaking expensive this area has been uh, heavily impacted by earthquake uh, I think uh, 10 years ago, something similar. Oh shoot, there was a motorcyclist. He went too fast uh, probably. Hope uh, he or she is okay. To take a short detour uh, before the place I want to go, we are going uh, to Norcia, which is a very small uh, town. In the mountains, it was completely destroyed uh, by the earthquake, or almost destroyed. We are gonna take a quick look and we are gonna have a lunch. After that, we go to the first place I really want to show you. We are in central Italy and uh, the place I'm going to show you today and tomorrow are just incredible. Norcia. As you can see there are a lot of these type of uh, traffic lights uh, because they are renovating slash um, they are building again most of the roads as you can see it's written here lavori di ripristino dei danni causati dal sisma means uh, they are you know repairing all the damages made by the earthquake so if you are riding this road which is the SS685 just pay attention go slow because of this but still, uh, the landscape is amazing. We are officially entering in Norcia. Norcia is located in the Parco dei Monti Sibillini. It's a national park. Wonderful. We are starving uh, and uh, we found a place here, Trattoria dei Priori. We are gonna try some local food. And finally in front of the menu, uh, as you can see, truffle, tartufo. It's very famous, you can see it pretty much everywhere, here, here, etc, etc. And then um, we also need to mention the prosciutto di Norcia, very famous as well. Can't wait. Finally lunch. Uh, buon appetito, buon appetito. Truffle. 
Buono, buono. And after a short ride, we just arrived. We're gonna leave the bike here. Next to this Kawasaki Versys. How many BMWs? One, two. Ah, I expected more. Couple of Japanese, uh, Africa Twin, uh, more Japanese than uh, BMWs. Okay, that's interesting. <laughs> Perfect. We are arrived. We are gonna take a look at this little town that was again destroyed almost completely by the earthquake uh, six, seven years ago. So this was a church and that's what's remaining. Lots of the streets are fenced, so completely closed to the public. Super sad to see that this church now is completely destroyed. Seven years ago here a lot of people were coming to pray, but today it's completely abandoned. In total, almost 300,000 euro to rebuild all the, all the church that was built in the 15th century as written here that's the main square I came here for the first time two years ago. In August it was super warm and it was full of people. Now it's a bit more quiet and beautiful. But I'm not sure they completed any of this <laughs> construction here. I think uh, we are far away from rebuild this uh, little town. That was Norcia before the earthquake. Mm, allora, formaggi. We are uh, leaving Norcia right now and uh, in uh, around 25-30 uh, minutes we should be to our next destination which is uh, Castelluccio di Norcia very famous across uh, Italian motorcyclists you will see it's an incredible place let's go I don't know what these insects are, but I'm full 
The bike is full guys, help me! <laughs> but look at the view. So we are going up uh, and over there there should be the uh, Castelluccio di Norcia. So uh, let's see, it's a huge valley. Let's go! Uh... Ready to go down. Uh, we are gonna reach Castelluccio di Norcia, the small town over there. Welcome uh, to Castelluccio di Norcia. Just few bikes. Completely destroyed. That's it. We cannot continue more than this. Everything completely destroyed. Okay, go back to the bike. Yes. This is the place. An agriturismo over there where we are going to have dinner and these are the places where we are going to sleep tonight. And we are going to take a look uh, how they are inside. We have an amazing view, uh, so yeah, let's, uh, let's take a look. The way to have dinner at the agriturismo. All local fresh organic food. Welcome. Let's start with the view, so five star view, it's uh, really really nice and then uh, let's uh, move inside, here we have a small fridge but the best part is yet to come Let's clean your kit Welcome home! Ta-da! So let's uh, start from here here we have the bathroom, which wow. actually is quite good. <laughs> I mean, uh, you need to know the light. With the shower, I look up like this. Mm -hmm. Ooh, very nice. Mm -hmm. And then here we have a closet. Here we have another bedroom. It's uh, two beds. Let me open it. Ah. Yeah, two beds, and then the kitchen, the kitchen here, as you can see, four stoves, sink, uh, let me see what's here, some shelves, also here, yeah, very nice, mm -hmm. table, uh, air conditioning, that's interesting, and then the master bedroom, 
Well, we are gonna sleep tonight. Nice. Basta che poi può parlare di... We are leaving Akumoli. This is the view of the small town. We are gonna follow the suggestion from our host at BNB. She knows these uh, streets very well and she suggested us to follow these uh, roads are definitely most panoramic than the other one. Beautiful day, 20 degrees. We are super excited for the next two places that we are going to explore today. The roads suggested by the owner of the Airbnb is actually very scenery, very panoramic. Uh, I really like it. It's across a lot of small towns, towns that were completely destroyed by the earthquake. Now we are cruising uh, next to a lake. There's gonna be a bridge right here. Nice. The SS260 is one of the best roads. I mean, uh, great curves, great asphalt. We are approaching the first destination of the day, uh, Lago di Campotosto, a lake. We are gonna follow the SP2, 15 minutes, there are 20 degrees, very nice. Right, Milo? Very nice. Let's go. Oh, no. Let's go. After a very beautiful ride, we are finally at Campo Tosto. Wow, completely destroyed also here. Crazy. Welcome to the Grand Sasso National Park. Oh my god! Welcome to Cafe Ferratore! Well, people, unfortunately, the big mountain, uh, Grande Corn over there, is uh, covered by clouds. 
but this is a great opportunity for us to come back again so uh, we will be back soon and this is a fantastic place I slept once there another time over there here at night you have a beautiful beautiful sky full of stars over there there is a, a refugio so you can grab some uh, snacks coffee paninis etc etc there are also the bathrooms and this is probably the biggest uh, valley across uh, definitely in Italy I'm not sure in Europe but definitely it's a huge huge valley I think it's 12 kilometers or something like that and uh, yeah it's it's incredible I hope you enjoyed this uh, two days of uh, adventure in the uh, center of Italy we definitely enjoy it we are gonna stay here a couple of minutes more to enjoy this view and then we are going back home as we have uh, three hours and a half of uh, poor fun and highway time to go home